everyone and today I'm here to react to episode 8 of season 3 of What Fuck. And before I get started, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who's been commenting along with the season and giving their opinions. I am so grateful and appreciative of how kind and nice everyone has been in the comments, especially since this is such like a divisive season where like I know not everyone agrees with everything I say, but it's just nice that we can all have like a calm, collected, mature discussion where like you say what you felt, I say what I felt, we both acknowledge that and are cool with it. And I am just so appreciative of that because that was one thing I was really worried about with starting this season is that everyone was just gonna be like, you're wrong, blah, 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 because you know, some of the scum, the other scum fandoms, I feel it like can be very, um, yeah, not so kind with that, with disagreeing with people's opinions. So I just really appreciate it. And I do love hearing all sides of it. So, you know, don't feel like, you know, you can't comment that, like, you enjoyed something or you saw something else that I didn't see. I really like getting to see all of it and just seeing how, you know, this season, how people reacted to it and how it made people feel. So just wanted to say that and also thank you so much because I have been so nervous about that. So to see you all being so kind, I've been like, whew! <laughs> what? The, oh, their apartment's so cute. Also, oh my gosh, we're Winnie the Pooh in it. Okay, okay. Even Senna's like, excuse. <laughs> His face. He's like, yeah, nice. Oh, he's so proud of her. Look at that. This is how it should be them together. <gasps> Look who's popping out. <laughs> He totally was waiting too to be like, did he miss me? Uh, <laughs> You're not sharing? That's so rude, Raba. <laughs> He's the cutest when they let him be. Oh, I love Santa so much. He's one of my favorite Williams. Okay, we gotta talk about this though, yeah. I said that before. The croissants never even got eaten. You might as well have just given them to someone who would appreciate them. AKA me or Milan. Yen's really wisened up in like the last three episodes to the point where I can stand him. I love him. He's doing that on purpose, and I love him. Read him! Read him! Yes! I love him. I love him a thousand percent even more now. Mm, not so funny when it's you, is it? Hopefully you learned something from that, though. That needed to be done. That, like, so needed to be done, and I'm happy. <laughs> Dang, I forget how tall Yana is until I see her with, like, other people. Backward shot. Oh, he looks so cute with a beanie on. You got beat up last time, so excuse him if he has a little bit of PTSD. Oh. Schluss. Uh, that was intense. Britt, you really want to be with him after all that? Like, I get that you think it's just a phase in your head and you're like, he doesn't really like him, but like, really? You don't care that much? Also, Britt now has the distinction of punching the most people on this show, I believe, because she also punched Yana. Well, actually, now that I say that, maybe Senna holds that record for most people punched. It's funny that they don't go to the same school. Like, I keep expecting them to show up, but, like, they don't go to the same school, so. Oh. My. Gosh, guys. Santa Claus is literally right behind him, and he has no idea. Santa! Oh, it's Sonder! Ah! <laughs> That's terrifying! <laughs> this is what Sonder's gonna look like when he's older, because he's still got the white hair, so just imagine a beard that'll match. Oh, Santa. I don't like dirty talk with Santa. Like, that is not a roleplay fantasy anyone should have. Also, imagine the poor kids that are just walking the street seeing Santa. Why is Santa making out with someone? They'll think he's cheating on Mrs. Claus. 
can we put the staff down? Like, it just, it's very strange, the whole appearance. How much did it cost to rent that outfit, actually, now that I think about it? Add that to the price of this penthouse. Everything's going too good for Rava. That's when you know it's coming, if everything's going happy. If you see him smile more than three times in an episode, you know that the episode's not gonna end good. This room is really cute. I like it. Like, it has, like, a Christmassy feel to it, I feel like. It reminds me, it's not, but it reminds me of, like, those, like, designs where you see, like, those ice hotels that are all made of ice. Like, it's just got that very, like, Christmassy feel. Oh, except for that floral wallpaper that I just saw. Blech. Him and Yana look so similar. Like, when he does that smile that he does, she has a smile just like that. And I'm always like, they look so similar. It is kind of also claustrophobic, that room, but I kind of like it. Like, I feel like it makes it intimate. Even though I'm acting like I could stay in that now. One time I went to my cousin's house and they had like these bunk beds and the bed was like, the bunk bed was like that far from the ceiling and I was like, I'm not sleeping in here. I'll take the couch. <laughs> His eyebrows, man, like just gorgeous. What? What? <laughs> then it dies with you. Ask Romeo and Juliet. You think they died with their love in their arms? No, they died sad and alone. And stupid because they should have just waited five minutes. Well, Romeo should have. It was really Romeo's fault. Juliet was fine. Ooh, it's so dark now. I like the contrast now that, you know, the bad clip is coming. There's no more light. It's also two in the morning, so I guess that's fair. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. That's a pretty high up balcony. Did they ever have to talk about the mental illness? I don't remember that, but I also feel like there was a lot of stuff that just happened that I could have forgot. Because I don't know why else he would have stopped taking his medicine, but I don't actually remember that conversation. Is this like an Airbnb or just someone else? Like, this isn't like a hotel, right? That someone else would have seen him and stopped him? Oh, no, it is a hotel. And the security guard's asleep. <laughs> Jeez, the man walks fast for someone who's just a human. <laughs> that was the end of the sentence. Oh, did he go on his bike? That makes more sense. But naked on a bike? Ouch, the chafing. The chafing, my friends. So I wonder if it's going to continue into the next episode because they didn't have the whole, like, him breaking down, crying, being like, where the frick are you, chasing after him. Like, it must continue into the next episode. Because remember in Scum, Italia, like, when, like, Martina was, like, literally, like, finding Nico but then losing him because Nico was just, like, running around and he was like, what the frick do I do? Like, just freaking out. They didn't have that, so it must be in the next episode. But my dang, you just knew because everything was too happy. You knew it couldn't last. <laughs> it will, just not for now. So I'm, yeah, yeah. This has probably been the episode that's been the most similar to, like, the OG and then, of course, all the other remakes because of that. And I feel like they did it pretty good, you know? I mean, you can't really, as long as you stick to the the usual, you can't really do it bad. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. More with Brit, too. I want to see, like, what her whole deal is, because I want to, just because, like, we know who Brit is, like, I want to learn more about, like, how they met, like, why she thinks, like, this is just nothing with Rava, like, there's just so many questions I have for Brit specifically. So we'll see. But if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Also make sure this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!